Oh my lord. I look like the boy Martian. This is the lighting is fucking... I don't like the lighting in this room. It looks weird as fuck, but... Damn! Previewing the Eastern Conference Finals. Eastern fucking Conference Finals here. And players to watch? Names to watch. First of all, Magic versus the Bucks. Giannis Antetumka. That's your major star to watch on the Bucks. Also, Chris Milton. He's a do it all player. If Chris Milton was playing for any other big market team, he'd be known who he is. And all the rest of the three point shooters, Orlando don't stand, stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. I'm, sl- I'm predicting Bucks and Ford. Bucks in four. They do not stand a chance. The Magic don't. I can't. I can't even name one player on the Magic. So I'm gonna skip the Magic. They're not even worth discussing. They're boring as hell. They're boring as hell. They are. Number two, Toronto Raptors versus the Brooklyn Nets. Toronto's got a bunch of good players. Kyle Lowry's still playing. He's been playing since Villanova. Smart, smart plug guard. He can, he can shoot. Also, the big name to watch, Pascal Siakam. You're going to like him if you still watch him play. He's a fucking beast. He is a fucking beast. He's a do-it-all kind of player. He's, he can handle the ball. He's just good. I like him. Nobody else I can really think of since Kawhi left. But that's the only person I can name. And now for the the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn is a selling seed. In a year from two, Like they're going to be pretty good. <sighs> they have a lot of interesting players. Karis LeVert, guard from Michigan. He's an interesting player. Do it all type. Handle the ball. Kind of a point forward. Kyrie Irving, my main man. I don't even know if he's playing this year. I think he's out of it. They can make things interesting. Got Raptors in five. I like Jared Allen, the big man on the Nets. He's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. That's a great team right there. In a few years, especially to get KD back. Because they got, they suppose Spencer Dinwiddie is really good. Nobody talks about him. Nobody talks about him. Moving on, next series, something more interesting. It's Boston Celtics versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Boston, too many names in this roster are not the like. Too many rest of the names to like. Jason Tatum, former Duke star, he's a stud. Got a bunch of scoring threats. Kimball Walker used to play for Bobcats. Everybody remembers him. Uh, Zillin Brown, he's a beast. And they got all these role players around him. Marcus Smart. So that's a good team. More than that, I mean, you gotta like the Celtics. Them playing the 76ers, I don't know. Ben Simmons is out for a year. They're losing in five. They don't stand a chance against the Celtics. Too much, too, too, uh, too well rostered. Still, Tobias Harris plays there. Um, what the fuck who else plays there? Uh, Jolene B still plays on there. He's a beast. And I don't know. Al Horford plays there, but I don't, they don't stand a chance about Ben Simmons. So they're a little lower than five. I just, I don't, I don't like anything on that. Next up, this is one of the more interesting matchups in the Eastern Conference. In the Eastern Conference is the Heat and the Pacers. The Heat and the Pacers. <laughs> Man, I can name on too many players in this team not to like. If I was getting autographs, who had one on this team? There's too many of them on both teams I like to not get an autograph. I want too many autographs I want. Number one, Pacers. DeMontis Sabonis. I like this guy. He shoot the three, can handle the ball, pick it up. I think he gets traded. Or well, I think it's because they got other players with too much expensive. Too much expensive on the, on the, on the, on the salary cap, under the salary cap. He got T.J. Warren. He's been scorching nets. He's to play NC State. He can score. They called him Tony Buckets for no reason. I mean, Oladipo was out. I actually got the Pacers winning this series. Oladipo was playing, but he's not even playing. But they're still so good. Uh, Turner in the middle, I like him. He almost won the Duke several years ago. But that's that's a good team. Better than what people think. Think they could beat. They could beat the Heat if they had Oladipo. Oladipo's not playing, so I predict the Heat in six. Still, it's going to be. They're going to push the Heat. No players on the Heat. I like. I like fucking Tower Hero. That's my boy. I like him, rookie from Kentucky. I know there's a former uh, girl out there from South Charlotte Hooters who doesn't like her. 
Jordan Gray, oh, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like him. I know she doesn't. Just jealous because he beat Houston a couple years ago at the three. But anyway, I mean, you got Jimmy Butler. That's the main man. Everybody knows who he is. The guy in the middle, I like Bam Adders a lot. That's the guy I like. Bam Bam, I like him. He's a beast. He is fucking athletic as hell. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. That guy in the middle, I like him. And you get around him. You got around him and you got some other players. Duncan Robinson. Nobody knows who Duncan Robinson is. Only a hardcore NBA fan knows who he is. He can space the four with three-point shooting. I like Kendrick Nunn. Nobody ever talks about him. I just wish Justin still played on his team, but... Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm trying to think of all the matchups I have left, and that's it. It should be pretty interesting watching the NBA playoffs.